Hey everyone, Anthony here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the best cigars for beginners. So I've been in the cigar industry for over 20 years, and one of my favorite things is sharing my cigar passion with you. So think about it this way, like whether it's a meal that you enjoyed, or a great wine, or a great movie, you know, you wanna share that with someone. It actually adds enjoyment to their experience. So today we're talking about 10 of my favorite beginner cigars. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and let's get started. So the first cigar I'm starting out with today is the Ashton Classic 890. I mean, it's exquisitely made by the Fuente family, Dominican filler, Dominican binder, true grade A Connecticut wrapper. The first thing that comes to my mind when I think of the Ashton Classic, this is a cigar that I cut my teeth on when I first started smoking cigars. So like a beginner like you might be right now, of course, we all start somewhere. I started where you're exactly where you're at at one point. And this is one of the first cigars I fell in love with. You know, it has creamy notes, it's approachable, but it also is complex. That's the one thing to keep in mind as a beginner smoker. You wanna start with a mild, maybe mild to medium blend because you don't wanna be put off by a cigar. Sometimes people start with a cigar that's too strong for them. As a beginner, it's one of the no-nos. You definitely don't wanna do that because it could be a poor experience and it could really turn you off the cigars if you start too strong. So another cigar that I chose, which is excellent for beginners, is the Fuente 858. So to me, these two cigars are the pillars to beginning cigar smoking and enjoying cigars. Think about it this way, Ashton Classic, Connecticut wrapper, Dominican filler, Dominican binder. The 858, a spectacular Cameroon wrapper that wraps around obviously luxurious Dominican fillers and binders. Both cigars are approachable, they have character, and there's two different taste profiles. So if anyone would approach me and say, hey Anthony, I'm just getting into cigars, give me two of your best cigars that I could smoke, that I'm gonna enjoy as a beginner. These two are the pillars that I would start with. They're the foundation to enjoying cigars. So another great cigar for beginners is the La Roma de Cuba. Nicaraguan tobacco with a broadleaf wrapper from Connecticut. So to look at this cigar, it might be imposing. So you're thinking as a new smoker, you know what, I wanna stay away from anything really strong. So you might overlook this cigar, but it is an excellent, well-made cigar, handcrafted by the Garcia family in Nicaragua. But it's smooth, it has character, it has actually natural sweetness to it. So don't look the looks to deceive you about how strong it is. It's medium bodied at its strongest, approachable, rich, sweet character. So another cigar with the same thought in mind is the Padron. So Padron, like the La Roma de Cuba, is expertly crafted, a luxurious blend, medium body, excellent flavors, Nicaraguan Puro, so wrapper, filler, binder, all from Nicaragua, but a very approachable cigar, made with very well-aged tobaccos. And as a beginner, what you wanna do is you wanna challenge your palate. You wanna try cigars that are mild, mild to medium body, with different country blends and different flavor profiles, but stay in that same kind of strength meter, because that'll really give you a true test as a beginner of what your taste profile is. You know, taste is personal, we say it all the time. These cigars are excellent choices for beginners. So next up is the San Cristobal Elegancia. And the name says it all, it's an elegant cigar. Mild to medium body, Nicaraguan filler binder, expertly made by the Garcia family with a shade wrapper from Ecuador. It has great depth, it has character, but it has approachability. We keep using that word, but it's very important to start out there. You know, and keep this in mind. I smoke this cigar even as a seasoned smoker. All these cigars that we're discussing today, they're not just for the beginners. So if you are someone who's been smoking for a little while, I highly suggest you go back and you smoke some mild cigars. Even though you think you've moved beyond that, you want to hit different notes. So as a cigar smoker, there's a time and place for every cigar. You know, you want to challenge your palate. You want to try diverse tobaccos. 
I, again, lean on this cigar myself. It's a great mild to medium body cigar, and I highly recommend it for a beginner smoker or even a seasoned smoker. So our next cigar, very interesting. So it has the same genetic makeup. It's Nicaraguan filler, Nicaraguan binder, and it has an Ecuadorian shade grown wrapper. That's the Oliva Connecticut. So like the San Cristobal Elegancia, the Oliva Connecticut has character. It has approachability. It's a cigar that I smoke a lot of times for a first cigar of the day. Excellent choice for a beginner smoker, but as a seasoned smoker, it's a cigar like all the cigars we're talking about today. You could smoke and enjoy because it has a lot of character to it. So both cigars are exceptional value. Yeah, and they happen to be excellent blends as well. So I also chose a few more to kind of round out our field for beginner smokers. So we have the Perdomo Champagne, the Reserva Real by Romeo and Julieta, Dominican Tobacco, the Monte Cristo Classic line, and last but not least, the iconic Macanudo blend. But all these cigars that we discussed today, and that grouping included, all have the same characteristics. Mild to medium body, approachability. That's what you want as a beginner smoker. You don't want to be scared off. You want character, but mild to medium body flavors. So that concludes our video. So listen, as a beginner, I know, because I was a beginner at 1.2, if you have any questions about what we discussed today or any questions whatsoever, just drop us a comment and we'll be sure to get back to you. I mean, that's what we're here for. So before we depart, make sure you hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and we'll see you here next time.